Hey folks, this is Wither, and we're back playing some more World of Tanks. So as you can see, this is a tier 5 game on Car Cormain. Let's get the mini-map up big enough so that everyone can see it. And this is a B1. Now, if you've ever driven this tank, you know the pain, you know the suffering, and I personally free, 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 free speed my way through it. This is a good friend of mine, Ashton. He's gonna show us how you should drive this thing every single time you, you take it out of the garage. Now it's a tier four heavy tank, but that's a very loose term. It's it's really just a big, fat, slow thing with a tiny little gun on it. Thankfully, it does fire fairly fast, so that will definitely be a help. Being a heavy tank, you can go through those fairly easily. That will help his team out. And he's just going to advance up until he can find a firing position. Looks like there's a T-49 coming up against him. And I understand what I mean. He does have maybe a two second reload, but with 50 damage a shot, even two seconds, it's, it's not going to beat something like a KV-1 or, or a Churchill head on, right? You just don't put out enough damage. And this thing doesn't have the best armor in the game. It's something like 30 or 40 for normal. I can't remember. So he's just holding the center of the island, he doesn't want that T-49 coming through. Oh, crap, that's a KV-1. Well, this is going to be a problem. And freely. KV-1 has a derp gun on him. Ooh. Dodging shots in the lead. He has effectively blocked the lead down by getting past him and then making sure he couldn't turn around. It took one gun out of the fight. Now he's going to try and kill a KV-1. As long as KV-1 keeps giving him side shots and missing his own return fire, Ashton's got to stay. Very nice. Now he's only got 184 health to deal with a Churchill 1 though. He definitely has a uh, faster firing gun. And it can penetrate it. Unless of course he side scrapes and the guy shoots at his sides. Oh, he smokes, he's gonna win this, isn't he? just took on an M3 Lee, a Churchill 1, and a KV-1, and a B-1, and came out on top. Wow, I half expected that thing to just penetrate with every shot. Unfortunately, he's now in a B-1 with no driver, because he repaired his gunner. But other than that, just, just pause for a second. I just want to see where all the holes are on this tank. Wow, there's not many of them. <laughs> there's a whole bunch of things. Huh. Okay, well. Wow. We have four enemy tanks left. Ow. That was probably the Panzer III Corps. No, oh, look, somebody drowned at some point. Oh, that's a DW2. I've never driven one of those. I'm kind of wondering why Ash is aiming over there. Oh, I see, because he's trying to aim around the... Right. Of course. 
Okay, well there's the three four again. That can definitely kill him. So you have to be really careful. Covenanter. Nice shot. Three kills in a B1 and a tier 5 game. And you know, 1200 points of damage. This is a respectable game. I can't wait to see how much XP he earns from this. We just gotta find a SU-122A that is hidden somewhere. Probably in the trees back there as our KV-1s have swept through the bottom half of the map. Ash probably isn't gonna get any more shots in. But seriously, 1250 damage in a B-1. Having... He's gonna get a steel wall from this if I'm... Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna bet he's get he's gonna get a steel wall from this. And hopefully a sharpshooter or a sniper. That was a pretty epic game. And he put most of those shots clean through. 2700 experience for a times three. It would have been 4000 if he'd had premium. Sadly, no premium. I wasn't as much experience as I thought he'd get considering all the damage he did and, you know, all the damage he soaked. But seven shots on that Churchill and did 333 damage to it. 16 to the KV-1 for 609. And got the kill on that one, thankfully. Did over 200 damage to the T-49. That was a really epic game. He Spotted the lead to death, <laughs> as well as the Churchill. It's one of those games where it's a once in a lifetime thing. You're not going to ever get a result like that again. Cool headed, steel wall, and sniper, all not really unexpected, but all great things to get as well. 913 base XP, whereas the next highest guy on his team was 500. And they were KV ones. Wow. 33 shots fired, 30 of them connected, 25 of those went straight in. 200, 1250 damage we know about, 22 hits received, and 4 of them penetrated. Wow. Including some splash damage from it, the HEKV1. 1,559 potential damage received in a tank with like 400 health. Seriously? 280 body damage, not really great, but it's still the health of a tank or two. 8,000 credits. It would have been 23,000 if he'd had premium. This was an amazing game. I'm so glad I got to watch this. Thank you so much, Ast, for sending this in. Thank you all for watching and hitting that like or subscribe button. I will see you guys next time. I always threat.